83. Okay, it's 20 plus 60 equals 83. Um, mitzvah number 83. This is mitzvah's loisase number 50 in the Torah. It's on men. It's found in Shemais. It's Mishpatim. It's found in Shemais. Chav Gimel Pasuk Ches. Shemais 23 verse 8. The Shaychad Loisikach. You cannot accept a bribe. You cannot take a bribe. So it is forbidden for a judge to accept a bribe from either side, even if it's going to give the true judge, he's going to give the true judgment anyway, he cannot accept a bribe. Okay, it's got to be a song about that. Now, it is a judge is forbidden to accept any, when we say a bribe, it's any kind of gift or any kind of benefit at all. Even if it includes, by the way, flattery. Flattery means you give a guy a compliment. Judge, what a nice tie you're wearing today. Okay, <laughs> okay still can't. He's not, I'm not allowed Judges. to accept it. I can't accept that flattery. But bottom line is, he's not allowed to accept. I'm supposed to, yeah, can't accept a bribe. Now, I don't know how you don't accept flattery. If a guy says, ooh, you're looking very handsome today, judge. What's the guy supposed to say? You know, doesn't accept it? I don't accept it. I still look ugly. I mean, like, I don't know how you're supposed to work on that, but bottom line is, says, you know, I'm supposed to accept flattery. Now, one second. A judge is permitted to ask for a fee because he gave up his work. Like, can you imagine a guy's a person on a Besden? It's a judge in a, in, a, in a Jewish court. And really, he could be, I don't know, maybe he could be selling fish. I don't know, right? Or he could be like a, a shoemaker. Or maybe he's a, a lawyer, right? But what happens is he, he has to give up his job during the time that he's sitting on this bezden. So when he's doing that, he's allowed to get paid for that time that he did not do his work. Basically what a person would earn, you know, during that time. And can't accept anything more. Anything more. That's it. And by the way, he's got to accept equal, obviously he's got to accept equal amounts from both, from both sides. Now, here's a very nice little story. The Gemara tells over how far it is that a person is not allowed to accept a bribe. It once happened that Shmuel, in the Gemara, Shmuel was having a hard time crossing an old bridge. Somebody passed by and offered him some help got across. So then Shmuel asked the man, what did I do for you to deserve this? So the man says, I have a lawsuit and I'd like you to be on the Besden. Now that was a bad thing to say, right? Shmuel says, I'm sorry, but because you helped me, I'm disqualified from being a judge. Okay? Another case was the story with Amemar, another rabbi, who was sitting in a judgment and a man came forward and took off some feathers that were on top of Amemar. Okay, took off little feathers. So Amemar said, what did you... Uh, What's what Amemar? Did, Amemar is a rabbi. Rabbi Amemar. Okay? Amemar. It's better than Bob. Anyway, so um, he said, what did I do for you? So the man says, I have a case that I'm going to bring in front of you. Amemar says, sorry, you just disqualified me from being a judge. And once, the Gemara discusses, like they say, why did you tell me all these little kinds of cases, right? And then once the rabbi whose name was Mar Ukva noticed a man comes up to him politely and cover up some like uh, some someone had spit in the street and he had covered it up. So again a man, a Mar, Mar Ukva said to him, what, what did I do for you? So he says, there you go, I have a case. And he says, um, you've tried to bribe me just now and I cannot accept your your case. So Mar Ukva says,